Anyway, so this is going to be the third and final uh, gear video. I'm going to do my big three. And we'll do a base weight reveal, which you could have seen in any one of the video, the gear videos, because I have a link to my lighter pack in the description below. So, uh, let's get right into it. So the backpack I'm going to be using... is the Superior Wilderness Designs Long Haul 50 um, with a Nylofume pack liner and the Hyperlite gear chest strap pocket thing. Um, I went with the 50 liter and I'm glad I did because uh, I figured for the PCT with the longer food carries and water carries, I might want a little extra space as well as the Sierra gear. Um, and I already have like a 40 liter bag, my light AF bag. So I didn't really see the point in getting another 40 liter bag. And I'm glad I went with the 50 because it's pretty small for a 50 liter bag, it seems like. So maybe you have to double check the descriptions and see where they're getting that number but it seems smaller than other 50 liter bags i know some companies they'll include like the front pocket and the side pockets so maybe that's what's happening here i don't know but uh either way it's pretty comfortable and i like it so that's what i'm gonna use all right so shelter and sleep system I've already shown you my tent. I got the Durston XMID Pro 2 with the NEMA floor. Um, my duplex was pretty worn out, so I was pretty ready to replace that. And I got a tarp tent Stratusfire Lithium earlier this summer. And I only used it once and I really didn't like it. So I decided to go with the Durston. So if you want a Stratusfire Lithium, I have one for sale. Just a little shameless plug there. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I set this up once. It seems like it's going to work. It's very similar to my duplex. Just as far as being like a non-freestanding single wall tent. So uh, that's that. And actually, I'll do... Maybe I don't know. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Alright, so. Tent, Durston x -Mid Pro 2, dining room floor. Uh, tent stakes. I still have all my tent stakes for my duplex, but I decided to get... I had uh, mini groundhogs with the duplex, and I decided for the Durston to get four of the regular size groundhogs. So, you can set up the Durston with a minimum of four stakes. And I kind of figured if I can get away with four stakes, I might as well get uh, four bigger stakes. So, I'm going to be carrying four of the regular MSR Groundhogs and two of the Mini Groundhogs. So, I can do four stakes if it's not really stormy, plus the two Mini Groundhogs if it gets kind of windy. And if it turns out... At any point I need more than that, I can use a stick. Or if it seems like it's I need more than that on a regular enough basis, I have other stakes that I can get sent to me. So those are the tent stakes. What do we got? Uh, what else we got here? So ground sheet. It's got a 0.7 millimeter painter's cloth. I got like a three pack of these from Walmart and each one. I'll get two ground sheets out of. So I've never really used a ground sheet before unless I was like tarp camping or something, but it seems like cowboy camping on the PCT is a much bigger thing. And I figure, whoops, uh, if I'm gonna do that, I'm probably gonna want a ground sheet and it will help protect the tent anyway. So I figure I'll start with the ground sheet they were really cheap. It was like $5.99 or $6.99 for essentially six of them at Walmart. So if I don't like it, 
or I'm not using it enough, I'll just throw it away. But I think for cowboy camping, it'll be good to have. All right. I'm going to skip that for now. So we'll go right to the Gossamer Gear Sit Pad. I showed this in my unboxing. Uh, and I bought this with the intention of cutting three sections off of it to give me a torso length pad, but I kind of decided uh, for the same reason as a ground sheet, just having it for cowboy camping and for breaks, having a full length pad would be really good. And if I'm at a point where I'm just like, man, I need to, I need to cut an ounce out of my pack. I could cut three sections off of this and get rid of an ounce. I don't think that's going to happen though. So, uh, it'll be good for breaks. Like I could just set this on the ground and lay on it at a break or whatever. So it will help me help protect my air mattress. So, uh, three, man, my brain just shut off there for a second. <laughs> Uh, 3.1 ounces for this versus one ounce for just a butt sized sit pad. I figure that's kind of a no brainer and it, it's much more multifunctional. So Gossamer gear, one eighth folded thin light pad. Uh, what else we got? So the tent ground sheet stakes. So my air mattress, I decided to go with the Neo Air X light. I used an Uber light this whole past summer and I've used an Uber light pretty much since they came out. I think in 2019 they were released and they get some pretty bad reviews but I never really had a problem with mine except for the one that popped but that pad had probably almost 3,000 miles on it by the time it popped so it was kind of like this stuff doesn't last forever and I was pretty happy with that and they do have a lifetime warranty and they did replace it but after using the uber light in the cascades this whole past summer I kind of decided it wasn't warm enough for me so I switched to the x light and I got the long wide version probably could have got away with just the wide version but going to the long only adds an extra ounce so I just got the long wide version. Um, so yeah, Neo Air X Lite. What else we got? The pillow. Where is the pillow? It's got a Trekology pillow uh, off Amazon. They're like 16 bucks. My other one, I used this same pillow for the Appalachian Trail in just this past summer. Uh, the same thing that happened to my Uber light happened to my pillow, the baffles in it broke. And I actually thought it was more comfortable once the baffles broke because when you blew it up, it kind of became a balloon and you could deflate it to whatever, like whatever height you wanted. And it just felt like it was more cushioned because there wasn't as much, it wasn't like blown up completely. But I kind of decided if it's falling apart, even if it is more comfortable, it doesn't matter how comfortable it is if it doesn't hold air. So I figure that's the end of life for that thing. Uh, and I got a new one. All right, what else we got here? So sit pad, pillow, x light, tent stage sheet, tent. All right, my quilt. Uh, I decided to go with the Catabatic Flex 22. I think it's the Flex, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, I wonder if the bag says. No, it's probably not the tag. Yeah, Flex 22. Uh, we got the wide six foot version. Um, I went with this quilt because I have my Enlightened Equipment 30 degree quilt that I used for the Appalachian Trail in 2019 and I've pretty much used it since uh, during the summer but it is, I would say it's definitely a summer quilt. It's not 
good enough for kind of the off seasons. And I do have I do have the Catabatic Flex 15, uh, but it's kind of was like I was looking for like something in the middle. So the 30 degree isn't warm enough. I used that this summer on a lot of trips, pretty much all the trips, and I was pretty much cold every night this summer. Um, but that 15 degree was, I kind of figured that was a little too overkill for the entire trail and I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be relying on mail drops to swap out gear. You know, obviously I'm going to for the Sierra, but I'm trying to limit it to just that. Like get a box for the Sierra, send it home after. I don't want to be swapping out gear other than that. Um, so yeah, I got the Flex 22. I really like it. I haven't actually used it yet, but I've used this brand before with the Flex 15. I started the Appalachian Trail with that and then switched to the 30 degree Enlightened Equipment. So I trust the brand. I trust the quilt. They have a very good reputation. I've used them before and I think I'm going to be happy with this one. So that's the quilt. All right. So clothes that I'm going to be carrying. So rain jacket. I got the anti-gravity gear, just regular rain jacket. Um, again, I used the same jacket on the Appalachian Trail. This is just a new one because the other one's pretty worn out. Um, I actually I sent it home uh, on the Appalachian Trail for maybe like a month or two so it didn't actually hike the whole trail with me uh, but I tried some other jackets while I didn't have that one and I wasn't really happy with the other jackets so I went back to the anti-gravity gear and again that was pretty worn out so I got a new one I've used it before I'm happy with the brand I know it's gonna work so I just replaced it with the same thing. So anti-gravity gear, rain jacket. Um, sweatshirt. The Lev Alpha 90. Um, it's really light. I've worn it around my apartment a little bit. It seems like it's gonna be really warm. And yeah, I guess that's it. I haven't really used it out in the field uh, per se yet, so. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's good enough. What else we got? Long Johns. Just a thin pair of Long Johns. Pretty self-explanatory. Might hike in them occasionally, but for the most part, it's for sleeping. Um, socks. Just a pair of wool socks for sleeping. Hat. Fleece hat. Uh, pretty self-explanatory again. Um, yeah, nothing really more to say about that. So, carrying clothing is going to be pretty minimal. Um, the only thing that might change with the clothes is... Oh, I almost forgot. So, gloves. I have these. I'm not going to carry these the whole way. This is going in my Sierra box. So, uh, so clothes. I don't have a lot of extra clothes. I want to keep it that way. But the only thing I'm worried about is being cold in the, like once I get to the Sierra. And if it turns out that I'm cold enough, consistently enough, I will add a warmer pair of long johns and a down jacket but I'm not gonna get those things ahead of time and I'll just add them to my bag if it comes down to that. I'm hoping it doesn't come down to that because I don't want to buy a jacket and I don't want to carry heavier long johns, but we'll see how that goes. So that's the rest of my gear. If you haven't seen my other gear videos, I went over my electronics and whatever the other one was, food and stuff, I think. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched those and you're interested, 
check those videos out, leave a comment if you have any questions, hit that like button, subscribe, do whatever else people do, and we'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching. All right, just to add real quick, uh, for anyone that did watch my other videos, I was pretty meticulous about uh, weights and descriptions. I thought that was pretty tedious. I didn't really feel like doing that again, but there is a link to my lighter pack in the description. So if you're curious to see uh, my total base weight, as well as weights of uh, every individual piece of gear, uh, you can go check out lighter pack, link in the description. So thanks for watching.